Hi, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm a mom and I love to watch and react to TV shows and movies. And today I'm watching Reacher Season 2, Episode 4. And I'm really excited to watch this episode because we left a, on kind of a cliffhanger the last episode. The end of Episode 3, we found out that Swan worked for this company that Langston is, I guess, I'm assuming CEO or maybe he's an executive or whatever, but Langston's been calling the shots. He's been telling um, these people to hunt down and kill uh, the 110. And we saw that he was the one that basically uh, broke uh, Franzi's legs and literally pushed him out of a helicopter. So we don't like him at all. T-1000, don't like him at all. And so we found out that Swan was standing right next to him in the company picture. And so it's leading us to assume that Swan has betrayed the 110. Now, I don't know if this is a red herring. I don't know if it's true or not. Maybe they want us to think that he's a bad guy, but in actuality, he's the one that discovered the problem or the plan, right? And he brought it to his pals at the 110 to investigate, and, and that's how they all got in trouble. I don't know where he is now. I don't know. I really don't want him to be the bad guy. I really want him to be just a red herring. Yeah, I, I, I'm trusting in Reacher's instincts with people, but you never know. I mean, people can be under duress, people can be bribed, people can be threatened. He could be, they could be threatening Swans' family or whatever. Who knows? So I am very curious about what's going to happen in this episode. So let's get to it, and let's start watching in three, two, one. Let Look, someone's got to say it. Was Swan working with these guys or with these guys? Swan's not dirty. Look, man, we all want to believe that he is. I know, Swan. We all do. Mm -hmm. Trust Reacher's instincts. You don't think there's even a chance? No, I don't. I hope he's right. I really hope he's right. Seems Swan's title was Assistant Director of Security. Shane Langston, Director of Security. Maybe he's the guy I got on the phone in Atlantic City. Well, if Swan didn't pull him into it first. I already told you. Aren't you the guy that said that assumptions kill? Well, you're assuming that Swan's the same guy he was back in the 110. Now we got to look into all these fuckers. Don't forget Marlo Burns. She knew she was sending us right into a buzzsaw when she gave us Europeans' address. So the mm. entire company suspect. There are multiple emails between Swan and our old friend Marlo Burns. Just them. No one else copied. He wrote, I was listening to an album the other day. Thought you might like it. Jimi Hendrix, Axis, Boldest Love. The sixth song is amazing. Take a listen. Tell me what you think. Swan hated Hendrix. Anything with heart guitar. No Skinner, no Hendrix, no Zeppelin, no Who. Hmm. I mean, that was his rule. He's leaving everyone else off the email saying he loved something we know he hated. Could be code. It says the sixth track is called Little Wing. A file on a federal defense project called Little Wing. By far the biggest contract New Age has ever had. A nine-figure contract. People have murdered for less. But they do note that Senator Malcolm Lavoy assured he would do all he could to get the congressional votes to make Little Wing a reality. And I quote, he fully believes in the work we're doing here at New Age and will do whatever it takes to help us. So if New Age stands to make a fortune on a government contract and Lavoie is its champion in Congress, it stands to reason New Age is the wind blowing Lavoie's back. That sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really wrong. <laughs> you give me 10 minutes to make some phone calls, I'll get the name of the legislative director and an Achilles heel. Do it. Reacher, I know you don't want to talk about Swan. Swan's clean. If he wasn't, he wouldn't have disappeared like the rest of the guys. But he didn't disappear like the rest of the guys. His body was never found. His place wasn't trash. He wouldn't just leave his dog to die. Not who Swan was. That's true. Maybe. Or maybe he ran off so fast because he knew three pissed off soldiers and a kaiju were coming for him. Dog was collateral damage. Maybe we don't know some people as well as we think we do. There's no way the Tony Swan I recruited is a part of this. End of story. Hmm. Blind trust or good instincts? I'm so close to wrapping up this case, I can taste it. What do you think they're going to give us? Accommodations? Promotions? I like the sound of that. Pump the brakes, Major. There's still a hell of a lot of work ahead. More arrests to be made. Infrastructure to dismantle. Whole networks of cargo planes, jeeps, and helicopters across three continents. Just take the W, Gramps. Take it easy on him, guys. He hasn't had his nap yet. <laughs> I hear congratulations are in order. I still am suspicious of him, Quite man. Quite fine, bust. Kilos of poison and a handful of scumbag dealers off the streets and ratting on their friends for us. These are the small fish. We'll catch the shark soon enough. Good work, everyone. Good work. People in our profession are sent overseas where we're shot at, bombed, blasted from IEDs. Then these assholes make more money selling this shit than all our pensions combined. It's fucked up. 
all I'm saying. One's missing. There's 47, not 48. Either you miscounted or they palmed one back to short you. I know we loaded 48 bricks into Swan's ride. Let's check your car. Ah. Mystery solved. Must have fallen back there when I was driving and gotten stuck. Guess the first round's on me tonight for that fuck up. Hmm, that's a little shady. Losing a key of age? I'd say that's worth two rounds. Maybe Reacher is blinded by loyalty. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I think? You want Swan to be innocent because you hired him into the 110th. And if he's involved in something like this, you'd do something stupid, like blame yourself for our friend's deaths, which, like I said, would be stupid. Neely knows you well. Are you really certain you want me to give you a new face? Oh! <gasps> you gonna pull a few moves from your sleazy adjacent playbook? That's the general idea. I told you, no more cowboy shit. I want everything you got on New Age. You understand? Fine. That's why I answered the phone this time. I actually have a reason to talk to you. I'm gonna send you their security team roster. Run background checks, see what connections these guys have. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What do you think? I'm here to do your clerical work? Yep. <laughs> Well, she took her toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh. Who the hell goes on the lamb and leaves their cash dash behind? Seriously. Oh. Ooh. He cleans up nice. Yeah. Hey, look at you. Don't you feel more civilized now, Miss Doolittle? Wait, where Very the clothes nice. are you Garbage. Garbage? Why? I'm already carrying boots. If I had any more clothes, pretty soon I need a suitcase. I got a suitcase, I need a house to keep it in, and I need a car for the driveway. Before you know it, I'm filling out all kinds of forms. So a spare shirt's just too much of an attachment for you. Anyone ever diagnosed you as a sociopath? Diagnosed? No. <laughs> oh, she did take a toothbrush. <gasps> she could be your soulmate. <laughs> Woo! Not one word. Holy shit. That's two <laughs> words. Another one and I'll shove this kitten heel right up your ass. I'm just saying you look nice. <laughs> Woo! They all clean up nice. Everyone ready? Let's go listen to some boring ass music. Symphony's not boring. Uh huh. And a bush your mouth, bosh your ketchup slides. <laughs> they all cleaned up very nice. Very, very nice. And I love going to the symphony. It's a tally. 13 fourteenths. Something happened 13 times when it was supposed to happen 14 times. Here, 11 out of 13, 8 out of 11. Okay, what'd I tell you? Hands are for helping, not hitting. Apologize to your brother. Share your Legos, okay? I love you. Bye for now. He's really a softie. Look at that Daddy O'Donnell. Look how many times they didn't get the outcome they wanted. 2,197 minus 1,547. 650, oh. holy shit. 650 at 100K each. So, hands are for helping. <laughs> <laughs> I am no longer my own man. And you wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Not for $65 million. Aww. You are a changed man, O'Donnell. If I had land, I'd get four or five dogs. Four or dogs. five dogs. You'd get four or five dogs? No woman? Not even Dixon? She's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> hey, this friend of yours, he's gonna come through for us, yeah? If he was in the army, I'd have asked him to join the one-tenth. <laughs> Finley! Sir, you're gonna want to put the drugs away and step out of the car. Oh, Finley's <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Special Agent Jack Margrave. <laughs> this is Special Agent Blake. Lieutenant Oscar Finley. I don't even know why you're here. We're here because we want to know everything there is to know about Little Wing. Ding, ding, ding. Does that sound familiar? Little Wing is just a code name. For what? For a new technology currently in development. Some incredible anti-missile software originally developed to protect commercial aircraft. But a certain aeronautics company approached us. Let me guess. New Age. The software allows missiles to defeat all known countermeasures. It's death from above, and there is no way to avoid it. You fire, you hit your target, period. Lavoy knew Little Wing would slingshot our military into the future. So I helped bury the proposal in a thousand-page statute while Lavoy shook hands and drummed up votes. No one even knew it was in there. It's DC. It's how shit gets done. 
Oh, crap, crap, crap. But it's our tech. We have it. Nobody else can get their hands on it. New Age has two bases, software made in New York, hardware at a manufacturing plant in Denver. I really, really hate politicians. I really, really do. Heck of a surprise getting a call from you. Hell of a surprise hearing you're wearing the badge again. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant, no less. Yeah, well, retirement didn't suit me. Speaking of suits, see you're still sporting the tweed. You kill a whole lot of people. Here and there. You need mm -hmm. my help? Already gave it. And the dog? Jack eats too much. Just like his namesake. Oh, he kept Today, the dog. Boss, car's running. And if I don't get out of this straight jacket soon, things are going to get ugly. Really? Didn't recognize you. Looking good. Mind your business, elbow patches. <laughs> That's nearly. If I don't have her in jeans in 20 minutes, I'm done for. I totally am with Neely. I hate dresses. Be around, Finley. Oh, it was so good seeing Finley. Oh, I love it. What are our directives? You and Dixon go to Denver. The Littering software is useless without the missile hardware, and that's where it's made. O'Donnell and I will head down to D.C. I want to swing by Homeland, see what they know about A.M. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not good. No guns, so no noise. They said you were smart. I'm going to cut you. Gut you. And leave you. <laughs> I love it when he doesn't let them finish. Yeah! Kick their ass. Get those brass knuckles out. Boom. Oh! Oh, damn! Yes! Oh! Oh! Oh, nice move. Take that. Oh, shit! Oh, damn! Oh! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap. Oh, damn. damn. Wow, wow, wow. Before you ask if it's done, it is. Just not in the way you hoped for. I have the means to give you anything you could ask for. What is it that you want? I want to throw you out of a helicopter. Mm, there you go. Wow. So, we're not any closer to finding out if Swan is a red herring or if he really is a bad guy. And they went through all the arguments that were going through my head, right? Basically all the clues and, and the what if scenarios, right, with Swan. You know, I think people do change, right? And, and he hasn't known or seen Swan in many, many years. So like O'Donnell's changed significantly from, you know, the sleazy guy or the player that they used to know. And now he's a family man with kids and, you know, so Swan could have also changed. So I don't, I, I honestly don't know if Reacher is being naive and, and loyal and kind of the loyalty is blinding him. I, I, I don't know. So I guess the whole thing with Swan we'll see in further episodes. I guess hopefully, you know, we'll find out. The best part of this episode was seeing Finley. Oh my gosh. It was so nice to see Finley. And he, I guess he's back in Boston, back at the Boston PD, and he's a lieutenant. And it was just really, really nice to see him. I know we're not, not going to see Roscoe this season. There's no way, there's no scenario where they're going through Margrave or they need to because I don't see Roscoe leaving Margrave. So I don't see how... Reacher would, would see her again. I don't think we're going to see Roscoe at all. But like I said, it was really nice to see Finley and how he called him and helped him out. And I love the line where he said if he was in the army, he would have uh, asked him to join the 110. Like that, my heart, like, oh my gosh. Like I was so happy when he said that. And, you know, I feel that they're getting closer now. They figured out the numbers. They figured out the 650. And now, now that this legislative director guy just totally blabbed about what Little Wing was, um, we know exactly, exactly what the terrorist, that arms dealer, is after. I like that there's a mystery to unravel. Same thing in season one, that ultimately Reacher is an investigator, right? And I think each season is going to have him investigating something. And that seems to be kind of the template of of Reacher and I'm, I'm not sure and you guys tell me um in the books is that kind of the kind of the template of the Reacher books where there is something to be investigated and he investigates and he it's different scenarios in each book 
um, different environments, like he's in different places. Uh, there's no recurring characters, maybe. Like, does Neely recur in the books as well? Or is it really just standalone kind of, of books? So, uh, you know, readers, you tell me. Uh, I'm, I haven't read any of the books, so I'm very, very curious. Yeah, another great episode. Oh my gosh, the fight scene with the bikers was amazing. And not only Reacher, but all the 110 can kick ass. And it was awesome to see the women kick ass too. So I I really enjoyed it. I really, I feel like Neely is like my, my spirit animal. Like I feel like we're sisters because she feels the same way about getting dressed up and dresses and heels like I do. <laughs> so, so I can totally empathize with Neely. And she's just so cool and awesome. And I could never be as cool as her, but she is amazing. So again, great episode. And I can't wait for next week and the next episode. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Do you guys think Swan is a good guy? Or do you think he's a bad guy? And let me know why you think that. And, you know, what your thoughts are. I'm not even sure in the book, does that have that Swan scenario? Like, is that part of the book as well. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. So uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts and about this episode and I will see you next week. Bye guys.